hello everyone today we are going to implement a checkpoint system so you can see this arc this is the checkpoint when I go through the first one the next checkpoint is activated so these checkpoints are only uh, responding to the player AI cars don't re react to them Mm, yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. So these checkpoints are procedurally placed. That means they are automatically placed along the road that we have. So we can control things like the gap or distance between two checkpoints. And yeah, basically that. And they will be automatically placed along the road. Alright, so let's see how to do these things today. So first to implement uh, a checkpoint system on the road we need some mesh. So uh, I'm planning to add something like an arc to represent the checkpoint like in many games. So let's head to blender and create a torus. Let me rotate it this way and this would be too thick so oh wait let me undo add again torus now we got some options here so I'll set the radius to two and minor radius to like this it should be fine now let's rotate it around y axis 90 degrees okay this should be good enough a simple torus and let me export this fbx X forward Z up torus. Okay. Right now here let me import that object. Uh, wait, let me create a folder under blueprints point and I'll import it here so I'll put everything related to the checkpoint inside this folder mesh collision okay let me just import right this is fine we need to scale it but it's not a big deal we can scale it some scale like this should be good enough to cover the road yeah okay now I'm gonna create an actor BP shared boy Open it now. Uh, let's add this torus to the checkpoint and let me place it here. We need to finalize the scale. place it in the middle of the road okay now this is scale 5.5 all right that seems fine 5.5 okay all right now 
we need some I think some translucent material should be suitable for this and check point make it translucent base color promote to a vector parameter color some color like this so yeah I think it should work Capacity right four. All right, now let's assign that material to the subject. Uh, perhaps this should be a missing. Yeah. Okay, that's clear enough. Yeah. Now I don't want to manually place these checkpoints uh, along the road. We do already have this uh, road spline, and we also have this uh, race manager. Let me open the race manager here. I'll add a function place checkpoints. Now we need to place the checkpoints along the road, PP road. So I'll add another reference here. Road. The type of PP road I make it public so now we can get the road perhaps convert to a validated git get so if we don't have a road variable assigned road value assigned we wouldn't run into any problems now we need to um, place checkpoints along the spline. So from the road, we have this spline. If I open the road blueprint, here we have this spline. So that's what I am accessing here. And from the spline, we can get spline length. And also we can get spline no get get location at distance along the spline. So I'll promote this distance to a local variable. I'll call it checkpoint distance. And this has to be word. Uh, also we need rotation as well uh, oh. also we need to add drag a line from here get rotation wait can you get the forward Or direction at distance okay all right now as uh, the starting value I'll put 500 that should be enough and also I need another gap checkpoint gap that also needs to be in float let's go for 2000 you can modify that and then here 
we need to have a branch to check if this distance if the length is larger than this distance if that is true we can spawn actor from class it, this should be checkpoint and spawn transform let me split this here we have the location and the rotation scale is one so here i'll make it always spawn ignore collisions and also we need to keep these uh, spawned checkpoint actors so i'll create another variable here checkpoints and the type of checkpoint bp checkpoint this has to be an array here get the checkpoints at Now, um, once this is done, I'll set the checkpoint distance with the checkpoint distance plus gap. So we are incrementing the distance. And then again, we can circle back and do try to do the same thing if oh wait try to do the same thing if we still have a distance along the spline that means we can still play we have you know still room enough room to place more checkpoints okay now i'll call this in the construction script place checkpoints right now let me check set select the rest manager and select pp road and nothing is spawned let me enable this call in editor display place checkpoints function now we got that oh now it places uh but the rotation uh, seems wrong so oh i forgot one more thing let me add another function here check points for each element in this array we need to destroy and then we need to clear this sorry and i'll make this one also call in editor also before we place any checkpoints you need to call here checkpoints right clear checkpoints he didn't do anything why is that? Can I try this one? Without the destroy. Let 
let me reload the level checkpoints okay and clear checkpoints okay that is working so this part is not required right and also this manual place checkpoint not required so I think uh, checkpoints are too close together And the rotation is also wrong. Oh, let's this has to be world. Wait, why it's not clear enough? Oh, they are in the level. Let me read it there. Hmm. It's okay, delete them all. Again, select the race manager. Place, delete. It's working. Place, delete. But the rotation is not correct. Oh, sorry. I haven't connected the distance here. Right now it's correct. Okay, and still I think they are too close so I'll set the checkpoint gap I think this should be a global variable checkpoint gap default default let's try like 5000 and let me disconnect this from the construction script it's better to manually place them pp race manager place checkpoints okay i think this distance seems reasonable oh man we're still too close to be public ten thousand why two of them are close together oh, maybe the okay this is the end point that's fine Anyway, we are not going to show all the checkpoints at once, so it should be okay. So, right, now we have the checkpoints placed along the road. Now let me check the collisions. So I'll disable collision for the torus and I'll add the collider. manually I'll make it larger um, in y direction and z direction okay now we can use this to determine when the car goes through the checkpoint and uh, here I'll add 
a function custom event um, toggle right custom event toggle check point now let's have a boolean active so only if we pass this as active this checkpoint will be activated so i'll promote this to variable as active and by default i'll leave it false in the begin play i'll get the active value again call total act toggle checkpoint so that we can do whatever we can either make it active or deactivate or deactivate based on the default value of the active variable so now here let's have a branch if this is active we can set a hidden in game set actor hidden in game to false otherwise true and also we need to disable collision for the box so I'll call this checkpoint collider Okay, collision set collision enabled. If this is active, query only. If it is not active, no collision. Okay, now if I play, you see none of the checkpoints are visible all right now once the race start we need to make the first check only the first checkpoint visible so in the race manager um, when we start the race Maybe it's better to activate it before we see the... We don't have to wait until the countdown is finished. So we can get checkpoints and get, for, get first element it's valid if this is valid. Wait, let me collapse this. Sorry, not expand, collapse. Activate first checkpoint. Right. No. If we do have a valid checkpoint in the first element, uh, also to prevent any null errors, we need to check this valid index zero. Yes, we can toggle checkpoint true. So that means we are activating the first checkpoint. Let's see now. No. Why not? No. 
one, right? I think this should be the reason. At the begin play, all of them get caught. Okay, so we can do this. And the rest manager, we can have a very small delay. can't have that okay then it's all right we can put this at the end after the calm down right, now let's see why have we not seen any why it doesn't become visible let me make this public so we can inspect the value here. Let us we got here. Oh, why is it zero? Oh, that is somehow cleared. The checkpoints are cleared. What could be the reason? Let me delete that again. And place sequence. Okay. Now we have 11 elements. Let me save this. Reload the map. And the road oh not the road race manager okay we have the elements all right okay now it works Alright, so once we go through the first checkpoint, we should activate the next checkpoint. Also, we need to make sure these colliders of the checkpoints not interfering with these colliders that help the cars, AI cars, to navigate. Mm, how to handle that situation? Let me open it. These uh, overlap all dynamic. Right, checkpoint. Can we edit this to overlap? Uh, I'll change this to custom. And the object type. Um, what should we have? What's the object type of the car? It's vehicle. Okay. Let's do this. I'll make this ignore everything and overlap only with phone type for the checkpoint. Now Let's have an event on component begin overlap. Let's print the other actor who is overlapping. Okay, now it's not overlapping with anything, but it needs to overlap with the player. So, 
this is player but AI cars also a child of this is what carbon um here yeah, what if I add a collider Oops. I'll call this one checkpoint collider right now this I'll make it custom and set the object type to pawn now it will not affect the AI cars behaviors see they are going without an issue but still it should detect when the cars go through that so oh, hold on yeah it is detecting let me go through here the spot car pawn okay it got detected uh, now it needs a way to check if this is a player so basically only the player controlled car should react to checkpoints we don't have any interfaces okay no problem let's set up an interface Car is here. This should return a value that says yes or no. Okay. Now local variable I'll call it preview checkpoint basically says previous checkpoint so oh wait no maybe there is an issue here if this is greater than zero we can do this from the checkpoints we can get a copy of this one minus one want this one minus one checkpoint that means we access in the previous checkpoint and set next checkpoint uh, we need to have a branch here if this is true we can set next checkpoint with the current checkpoint that means this one get this index if not we can skip this part okay now select the race clear and place again so that we will have the references now when I go through the first checkpoint it should activate the second checkpoint yeah
okay so if we want to keep the car move in a loop what we can do is once we are done with this spawning checkpoints or in the yeah here may have a readout note okay return node it's fine uh may have a readout node we can get the last index from the last index we can get last element and as the next checkpoint we can get first one zero checkpoint so this will allow us to go in a circle now there is a edge case where we don't have where we have only one checkpoint this will become a loop but in this path we wouldn't have that case so right let's go around Okay, so here is the first checkpoint. Wait, why the next one is not activated? Alright, I have to clear and place again because I updated, I think I updated this logic and didn't do a replace, so that means I don't have the reference of the first checkpoint in the last element. So let's try again. working we can go in a loop all right now i think we have enough elements all the features we need to click, uh, have a complete race so let's look into those things uh, have a complete race in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download here in patron page link would be in the description below See you in another episode. Goodbye.